For many fans of this car, it remains a pipe dream, the new Touareg costs a lot of money. But you can always pick up a used copy at a reasonable price. But is it worth it? The car debuted in 2002. And, following the modern trend, it was stuffed to capacity with electronics, which, under the conditions of our operation, gave frequent failures. In addition, engines, gearboxes, and all-wheel drive transmission were in the zone of increased attention. Therefore, the first owners gave the Touareg at dumping prices. The first cars were equipped with 3.2-liter V6 petrol, 220 horsepower, and 4.2-liter V8, 350 horsepower, as well as 2.5-liter R5 turbo diesels, 174 horsepower, 3.0 V6, 225 horsepower, and 5-liter V10, 313 horsepower. After restyling in 2007, the range of engines has changed, and their power has increased. The base engine on the Volkswagen Touareg is an inline five-cylinder turbo diesel, which is demanding on the quality of fuel and oil. The tasting of the surrogate already by 100,000 kilometers led to wear of the cylinder piston group and the block head. The leaking pump eventually finished off the turbocharger bearings. Periodically failed pump injectors. Similar defects are inherent in the V10, which consists of two R5 motors, the V6 diesel has a common rail power system, the fuel pump of which is also at risk. But even worse, if the recirculation gas cooler depressurizes, then the coolant enters the oil and the engine is overhauled. On petrol V6S, after 60,000 km, the timing chain was extended, which is why the phases of the gas distribution mechanism leave. And by 100,000 km the fuel pump fails. On a V8. There is a toothed belt in the timing drive. Almost all Tuaregs on our market came with a 6-speed Ison automatic. He also did not differ in reliability. By 100,000 km, the valve body had to be changed. Dealers advise changing the oil in the automatic transmission every 60,000 km, although it is considered maintenance-free. In a Rosdica with powerful motors, a chain was pulled out. The electric motor of the center differential lock drive failed. The spring suspension is pretty reliable. And in pneumatics, after 100,000 km, the valves of the pneumatic struts begin to poison. If you do not change, the compressor will deflate. And the racks hold up to 150,000 km. The automatic machines are distinguished by good maintainability, but by 150,000 km they require the replacement of the valve body and the clutch package. The aluminum crankcase of the front gearbox and the hydraulic booster housing burst, which was recognized as a factory defect. The Morse chain was pulled out in the transfer case. The electric motor for turning on the center lock was out of order. Since 2007, there have been changes in the line of engines. The gasoline V6 has grown in volume to 3.6 liters, 250 and 280 horsepower, and the power of the 4.2 liter V8 has increased to 350 horsepower. The 3.0 V6 turbo diesel has got another version with 240 horsepower. The reliability of engines has increased but it was not possible to completely get rid of birth defects. The most popular are petrol and diesel V6. And the V8 is considered the most reliable. Here, the upper levers with a ball bearing are short-lived, which had to be changed along with the stabilizer struts at 60,000 km. The rest of the parts last longer. But the air suspension is expensive to maintain. The stabilizer struts are changed on average after 70,000 km. Silent blocks of levers and shock absorbers last twice as long and hub bearings, up to 100,000. 